another short and sweet where the samples and reviews are short. And it's sweet that they shared it with us. This is a uh, old elk Armagnac finish. Mm. And this is thanks to Ray, King of the North as we call him. A patron. So, thank you, Ray. Now we do like some Armagnac finishes. We've, been known, We've to, been known to dabble. To like an Armagnac finish or uh, two. Obviously, I think the one that comes to mind for a lot of people is the Bardstown Bourbon Company Chateau de la Bon, <sighs> which a new edition is coming out in September, or maybe has already come out by the time this episode drops. Mm. Uh, but then there's also the Saints Alley Armagnac finish. Ah. That one is not to be discounted. Not at all. It seems like a lot more people are finishing an Armagnac these days. Yeah, I, I can see why. Now, this one to kind of compare price-wise with like the Saints Alley and the uh, Barstow Bourbon Company, um, it's gonna be around $90. Mm, okay. We've seen it in that area, we've seen it a little lower, a little higher, but be around there. Uh, it's 108.5 proof. I like 108.5 proof. Really the only thing that we could find out much about it was it's a high malt mash bill hmm. that yeah. spends some amount of time in a used Armagnac cask. Yes, and I think they released this in conjunction with three other like European Finnish projects. Yeah. So it's one of four. That's sort of nutty sweet, light berry, uh, almost like a powdered sugar. Uh, yeah, I, I, sort of when I eat Slightly um, nutty. peanut butter toast with honey on it, I'm sort of mm -hmm. getting that yeah. that image in my head. Yeah, it's got more of the grains. Honey floral. Mm -hmm. Then I feel like uh, the other Armagnac that we've mentioned here in this episode. Could be that high sort malt. Of has, could be that high malt. Mm. I All think right. that's what's bringing that nuttiness. I agree. To your health. That does seem to have a Higher malt. I taste the malty. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It is like um a bit of a, a nutty quality. Is that stealing the show though over the Armagnac? I, uh, it might be, it might be. Yeah, because that was the first thing I thought of was like, woo, high malt. I, I taste that high malt. malt. Yeah. But that sweet Armagnac. Finish. I want the Armagnac. I yeah. want a little bit more of that. It's a little I mean, overshadowed. It was the first sip. I can say off the first sip though, I enjoy the proof. I like, Yeah. it's got enough of a, a presence, but it's not punching you in the face, kind of. Agreed. Well, before we continue on, we want to hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirts that we're wearing, hats, uh, Glenn Karen's water glasses, rocks glasses, challenge coins, copitas, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, the opportunity to participate in a barrel pick, discounts on our merch, another round on Fridays with us and more. I think it has a nice mouthfeel up front. I mean, I'm liking what's in the glass, but, but I'm, I'm just not getting the Armagnac it, part of it. It comes in, I think, a little bit on the finish, but I think it's taking a backseat to the maltiness. Very much a backseat. I don't mind the maltiness. I like that, but I'm expecting more of an Armagnac presence, and uh -huh. I'm not getting as much as I want. We had no information about how long it was rested in the Armagnac That's barrels. True. Uh, maybe it was a shorter finish. I don't know, but I agree with you. It could also be that we don't typically drink a lot of this high malt, at True. least the perception of this high malt, and that we could, it might be harder for us is what I'm trying to say, to drill down mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the differences of a finished high malt bourbon than just like than a, just regular a regular high malt bourbon. And to be fair, we don't have a ton of experience with Old Elk. Um, right. So like the baseline, knowing the difference between the baseline and this mm -hmm. is not something that we're well versed in. Mm -hmm. I think you get the most of the Armagnac on the finish. It's like it starts to kind of peek through and I'm like, wait, come here, come, no, oh, it, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. I'm like trying to grab it and exactly. it's already gone. Yeah. Um, Concluding thoughts are, wish I had more of the Armagnac presence. Mm. Uh, it's a good pour by itself, but I'm not gonna put it up there with those other Armagnac finishes because they really shine because of the finish. Yeah, and you know, for, 90-ish dollars. I know some people have paid a little bit less, maybe like 85 or something like that, but still expectations have been set and I feel like we're not meeting them. Right. I think that the base whiskey is good. Mm -hmm. um, I think it has good qualities. I just want more. I don't know. We were just expecting more. I just, we're just expecting more. I'm not you. mad. I'm just disappointed. disappointed. There we go. <laughs> well, hey, that's where we have to leave it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Ray. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.